Hello there and welcome back to Carl's Party. We're picking up right where we left off, so let's go. Oh. Definitely a ghost, Carl. Very conversation and laughter can be heard. Waft. Wafting out from the infirmary. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The same for me. I love my skill. <laughs> There's a motto. Get away from them. Need to run. Quickly. My homeroom teacher's the best. I guess you feel the same about yours too, huh? <laughs> Who's <laughs> the motto? Hey! Snap out of it! Who's the motto? It's us! Alright? Kinazaki? Ishinuma! <laughs> Can you stand? Come on! We're right here! No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Huh? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this and you'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post. Four children abducted. Follow up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held are confirmed to have been used to cut out the victim's tongue, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had a majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. That one. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. The Heavenly Host Elementary students pictured here are the four that were found in that ba are the four that are found in that basement room. Of these children, one was blank. When investigators arrived at the scene of the crime, she was blank. Blood blank. Newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. These ghosts with the same faces and uniforms as the children in those photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier. There was one of them too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. Um, I'm going to stay with them. <laughs> I really don't think that's a good idea, says Moto. You need to get out of this room. Uh, says Moto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. No, stop. Hey! What's going on here? Mazaki! Damn it! What the hell did they do? My voice is failing! I've been talking too much. Right. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's the wrong one. There we go. All right, I think we need to find a way. As close as I could get to chat. I'm so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. I can't even touch her. That's the way I get her done. What the hell do we do? I don't know. We've got to do something. We'll have to... Whoa! Your nose is bleeding there. What? Don't tell me that. Jeez! You're so blunt about it too. Oh, I have a perfect sound effect for that. Uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it rip? Hello? Huh? Oh! Uh, she's... She's got eyes like a dead fish! You've only just arrived at this school, have you not? That's right. We were brought here against... That's right. Were you brought here against your will too? Can I say I recognize your uniform? Actually... Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important for me, you see. Um, oops. Um, your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? It is. Who the fuck's that? High school paranormalist. Naho. Then. Sayanuki? Uh. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year? She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also very well known for communicating with spirits. And has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. A big fan of yours, Sanoki. Miss Sanoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering. Though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your, your last posting was about the Tachiko Ever After chat. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it would be anything like this, though. Hmm. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt, but did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So, so you came here of your own volition, on purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about, I'm afraid. What? what? 
The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right. You have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I die, dear, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given the form of ele- of heavenly host elementary school through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. The poor kids pictured in that newspaper article. It sure seems like it. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. They can be put to rest. If they can be put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these space, these spaces would start. To, these spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this hell. That's. My theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the hell do we even do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. One who killed them? Are you saying... The murderer is here in this school. Yes. Seriously? How were we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? <laughs> you need to do whatever you can and do it fast. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess. The first order of business the theft the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey! Zaki! Hold up! I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher. I'm gonna take you on your word anyway. Right now. I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thank you. Yeah, whatever. (laughs) 
ครับเฮ้ยเยอะไรเยอะทำโอเคโอ้สกนัดรูฮับก็อาจจะดักต์นอร์มัลเลย I still don't know I think she's starting to snap under the pressure Nozaki needs to get out of the school she could be in a real trouble damn it why is there no exit right um my voice is starting to hurt <laughs> So I think I'm gonna need to stop this recording as soon as I can. I'm afraid. Nope, that's the wrong way. But that... Whoa! What the what? Damn it! I knew it couldn't be this easy. Uh. Why won't you open? Let us out! You worthless piece of... God, you're annoying. Just shut up! Uh... Even if it did open, I'd be staying right where I am. You think I just... You think I could just abandon Miss Shishido and all our friends? What's your problem? Never said that. Wuss! Coward! Delinquent! Oh, now how about you shut the hell up? Uh. Come on. Let's just go. Wish I were with... Uh, wish I were with Mojita instead of you. Right, that was a lot more dramatic than I thought it would be. I really need to drink. Candles! Glory be! I'm just gonna do one last thing now that I've saved. I'm gonna try and get a death. Is this the first one? Oh! Victims, memoirs, five of five. We were warned not to, so this has got to be a day. And I did just save, as I said. If you're reading this, allow me to forewarn you. There is no hope of rescue. There is nothing to be gained. Endless wandering and endless torture. It is the nature of this place. I succumbed to my own hunger and thirst. And nibbling on that corpse again. There is no flavour, no sensation. Just meat and fluid to sate my empty stomach. I promised I would not desecrate your body anymore. But I broke that promise. Please. Forgive me. Kinozaki? <laughs> no. Ah! What is... Hell, what's in my mouth? It's like blood, but ah, oh. no, no, oh, it can't be. Kirazaki, Kirazaki, 
This is definitely hard. But why? Who the hell did this to you? Ah! Yeah. Who was it? Oh, me, Lumpy. Shinozaki's uh, Testament. It's a yellowed school flyer, presumably taken off the wall somewhere along the way. A short message has been hastily scribbled in pen on the back. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm gonna be killed. I'm gonna be eaten. It's chasing me. I can't keep running. If anyone should find this paper. I heard you bring him to justice. The one who killed me for sustenance. My own classmate, Ishinuma. Game over, chapter two, wrong end, four of four. Hey, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right. Okay. Yep. Good, good. Okay, thank you very much for watching. You've been with the audience. This has been Corpse Party. I have been Wakila, and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>